Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. So as you can see from the title, today we're going to be doing a Funko HQ tour. So I did come to Washington to visit and I'm here at the HQ and I'm so, so excited because it's my first time ever being here. And of course, I wanted to take you guys all along with me. So what we're going to do right now is pretty much go through the whole store, show you guys all the tour and what is here. So yeah, I hope you guys all do enjoy. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so right when you walk in, you are greeted by this gold Freddy Funko. It's like an adorbs version. And then this is the front view. So they have this globe of like, I guess the world and it just says Funko on it. And yeah, this is the front view which you get right when you walk in. It is amazing. So yeah, so we're gonna start with here and make our way all the way around. So right here, I guess you can say it is the anime section. So you are greeted by a giant Goku. And over there you have Sailor Moon. Uh, I never watched the show, I just know it's Sailor Moon, so I'm not sure what her name is. But yeah, when you walk in, it's pretty much anime, I assume, because they have Goku and then Sailor Moon. And if you guys want to see more in depth of like the Funko Pops, I did a Funko Pop hunting video here. So make sure you guys go check that out after this video. Okay, so what's super cool is that the shelving, like where they put the Pops, it looks like buildings. So like they have like, you know, the building kind of display and then the Pops underneath. So I think that's super awesome. As well as this side as well, they have like a building kind of thing and they just have the pops right under. Okay, so one thing I do have right here is the giant Godzilla and then they have like little airplanes on top which is I think is like such a great touch. But yeah, this thing is massive. And then like they have like a train and it's kind of like if he broke it, so they have the train like going up here and then throughout over there. But this thing is super huge. So that's pretty much like the only display they do have in this section. Okay, so this next section up here, it says Gotham. So pretty much DC. So this is like a Dark Knight Batman. But they're not in pop form. It's kind of like a vinyl figure. So they have this display right here, right when you enter. They have the bat signal right here, which is pretty cool. They have a little, another Batman thing up there. And then they have Harley Quinn, Batgirl, and Wonder Woman. As well on the same like little vinyl figure type of things. Yeah, this thing looks super cool and then my favorite display right here let's go into this section okay so before i show you the batmobile i think it's so funny because it literally looks like robin is stripping like obviously you're not you know he's not like he's pretty much coming down you know but it looks like he's stripping <laughs> so it looks pretty funny and then yeah right here we have i believe this is batgirl again or cat girl batgirl and i assume it's batgirl but that's pretty cool and then one of my favorite parts from like the entire store is this Batmobile right here and you're able to sit down Someone's gonna take you a picture over there and just chill out next to Batman in the Batmobile So basically it's like your Robin. So yeah, super awesome. I love this right here So yeah, and here you're just able to chill sit down, you know, with my boy right here And just buy Okay, and then right here we have an asylum. So it says home for the criminally insane and I don't know that character but right here we have the joker behind bars and inside it's pretty cool because it just says like ha 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 all around but yeah that's awesome that's an awesome display okay so right here they have the funko shop which i'm pretty sure is like if they would have new exclusives the table would be right there and pretty much what you can find here is like all the exclusives so yeah that's pretty cool Okay, so right here we have the Harry Potter section. So you have this display right over there. And let's just go inside. So I don't know too much about Harry Potter. So I'm really not going to know like these characters. But it's a pretty decent sized section. I guess like, you know, Harry Potter is, yeah, Harry Potter is pretty popular. So they have all of this. I'm assuming it's part of the movie. But yeah, that's cool. They have, I think that's the villain, correct? The villain up there. What else do they have over here? Oh, they have the three main characters. So I only know Harry Potter, and I know his name is Ron. I'm not sure about her name, but yeah, that's cool that they have that there. And they have like the little wizard up there. And then they have him up there. I forgot his name, but they have him up there. That's, that's super awesome. But yeah, this thing looks super sick. Oh, I didn't even know that. Notice that they have the owl up there. They also have this section right here. And it's pretty cool. This is like, like Freddy syrup, something like that. Wizard, they have a little wand right there. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, so one thing I didn't show you is right when you walk in, they have pretty much an exclusive wall. 
So right here you can find pretty much a bunch of different types of exclusives, which I think is pretty cool. It's something that I've never seen that they do. So yeah, pretty much like all the exclusive pops that like you would find here that they get in. It's just like in one section. So that's awesome to see. Okay, so right here we have the Star Wars section. And this is the biggest display of just one category that I have seen so far. So let's see what they have. So they have this guy right here. I do not know his name and I do not know her name. Um, I like Star Wars but not like that. Like I've never watched every single movie and stuff like that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And then right here they have, is that like a white Chewbacca, like a Yeti? I'm not sure, correct? Let me know what's this guy's name right here. And then right here they have upside down solo, Han Solo. So that's pretty cool. Whoa, look, and then in here they have a skeleton. Whoa, that's super awesome. And then you turn around and you're greeted by a stormtrooper. I believe this is a stormtrooper. And then another one up there. And then they have Darth Vader up here. That is so awesome. And there's like red lights in the back. So that's super cool. It looks super awesome. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, when you're here, there's pops pretty much everywhere all around here. Like all like any Star Wars pop you want. Like I'm sure you could find the character right here. And then the last character you could find here is Chewbacca. And yeah, and then the whole thing is kind of like just like a little icy. But yeah, this is the last character you'll find here. Chewbacca. That's awesome. Okay, so now we are answering the Disney section. So right here, we have Disney. First thing you see is like the, the two little mice from Cinderella. I'm not sure if they have names, but it's right up there. And you know, right here, you can pretty much find all Disney pops. And I really like like the look that they gave. It's like, I don't know, it's like nature-y. So I like it. And then they have something up there, but I cannot tell what it is. But they have some little figure, figurines up there. But I cannot tell what it is. And then right here, like right before like you leave, you're greeted by Tiana and the frog. And then they have Elsa and Olaf. So these are pretty cool because it's pretty much exactly the same as the ones that they have at Funko Hollywood. And then one of my favorite parts is up here, they have Pascal from Rapunzel, so that's super adorable. And then also like up here they have Belle, so yeah. And then like you walk in and it's pretty much the next section. So they don't have too much displays from Disney, but they do have still some here. Before I show you guys Marvel. Okay, so right here they have the villain, so this is a Maleficent, and then I, I'm not sure what this is. And then up there they have more Maleficent, and over there they have Jack Skeleton. And here's a little closer look of Jack Skeleton. Then right behind him, they have a big display of Michael Jordan. This is the same one that you see at Funko Hollywood. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing, but yeah. Michael Jordan right over here. And now, my favorite part, the Marvel section. Okay, so up here you have Spider-Man. Definitely my favorite. Like, I wish I could just get this and like take it home to my house and just have it up on my wall. And then up there, we have Green Goblin. So yeah, that's pretty cool. He's holding like a pumpkin, and yeah. Super awesome. And then right here it just says welcome to the HQ. So it kind of reminds me of like a oh well, yeah, like a ticket booth. It already has that. So like it kind of reminds me like if you're like going to the theaters and like you're gonna get your tickets. So that's cool. And then right here we have like a Deadpool section, right? But it's pretty cool because it has like the chimichanga truck. And up there you just see freaking Deadpool. So that's super adorable. And then right here they have another little Spider-Man like big poster. Like this is another thing. Like I love Spider-Man, so I, I want to take this and just have it up in my room. And then right here, one of my like, one of the best sections, they have Stanley right here. And it's super cool because it's like if he has like a newsstand or a comic book stand. It's so, like there's a bunch of comics right here. I'm not sure if you're like actually able to take these. Oh no, you can't. They're not, they're not actual books. You can't. But yeah, they have like comics here. So that's pretty cool. And then you just have Stanley here. And you are able to get these Funko books though. And then up there, we have Captain America. So I think this is, I think, like Age of Ultron. That's what it looks like. But yeah, that's super awesome up there. We have Captain America. And then the last section in Marvel, and probably my favorite, we have Hulkbuster. And Hulk It's like if he's smashing out of um, the wall. So I think that's super awesome. And this Hulkbuster is huge. And then we have Hulk right here. So this, this display is super awesome. And pretty much from the inside, that is everything, all the statue, all the displays that we have 
So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying so far right now. Though I'm gonna show you guys the outside because the outside is pretty cool as well. Okay, so this is the front of the store, and what I want to show you guys what I thought was cool is like the outside of it. So they have pop displays as well. So they have Gru up there, Batgirl. I'm not sure who that is. Then they have Harry Potter. They have Spider-Man up there, which is awesome. And then on the other side, they still have way more. So let me show you guys those over there. So up here, they have a Freddy Funko. They have Hulk. They have Sully, Maleficent, and Chewbacca, and then Huckleberry. Then the big sign up there that says Funko. Right here, as you can see. Yeah, this thing is so awesome. But yeah, everybody, that was a tour from Funko HQ. I hope you guys all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys give this video a giant thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.